What's up everyone and welcome back to the MMA Zone. Today, let's get started with UFC 308 reactions. With UFC 308 wrapping up, what are your thoughts on the card? Now, let's get into some reactions from the main event. And before we continue, make sure to leave a like on the video to help support the channel. Shara Magomedov versus Armin Petrosian. Shara Magomedov knocked out Armin Petrosian with a double spinning back fist. Here's what the community had to say. Conor McGregor said, it's short in time, haha. -ha. Aaron Bronstetter said, that was crazy, wow, hard to admire that in real time after seeing that replay. Shaheen Alshadi said, okay, double spinning back fist is just sick, legit never seen anything quite like that, shower bullet is pure entertainment. Alan Juban said, I just jumped out of my seat on a plane. McMally said, hate on shower bullet all you want, but that was filthy. Ben Folk said, the walk-off part of that finish was actually really smart by Shara. If he jumps on him and tries to finish the fight right away, maybe he sees the end of the round. Ben Askren said, well, I think he's fun to watch, but Bo Nickel beats him easy. UFC Obsessed said, okay, Shara Bullet with a double back fist? That was beautiful. Bilal Muhammad said, call that move click clack. Okay, so we go boom, and does it change directions? Boom. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yo, oh. no one's ever done that before. Oh, by the no. Way, no one's ever done that, that before. Wait, Look at the accuracy, too. E this was good, too. Accurate. Boom. boom. Spinning back okay, for cool. fist. Wow. Yeah. Dude, that's Kung Fu oh. theater right there. That is. That's Yo. wild. And they... That's what wild. Happened? And the dude just put his head down. That's yeah, going to be a highlight forever right Amazing. there. Lerone Murphy versus Dan Ige. Lerone Murphy defeated Dan Ige by unanimous decision. Here's some reactions from the fight. Hanato Moicano said, very close fight. I think Murphy won. Aljamain Sterling said, the third round, I don't know how they scored that. Let's go Danny. Sadiq Yusuf said, great fight. Ben Askren said, man, that was a dog fight. So many fun scrambles in the third. I think Murphy wins it with the last outbursts of strikes. Nolan King said, Lerone Murphy versus Josh Emmett. MMA Guru said, anyone else think Ige was fighting with an injury the whole fight? Maybe something on the shoulder or ribs? His elbows were weirdly tucked the whole fight, and it almost looked like it hurt for him to throw punches. I got Murphy 2-1 based on damage. Ben Folk said, That's a tough one to score. Mostly I'm surprised Murphy survived and got back in it as well as he did. Henry Cejudo said, 29-28 Ige, great fight. Bilal Muhammad said, Crazy third, I give the fight to Ige. Brian Ortega said, that's some good exchanges right there. Jai Herbert said, big win, Lerone Murphy. Well deserved, bro. Magomed Ankalaev versus Alexander Rakic. Magomed Ankalaev defeated Alexander Rakic by unanimous decision. Here's what the MMA community had to say. Jamal Hill said, good luck selling this title fight. Aaron Bronstetter said, I have a 30-27 Ankalaev in a competitive fight. He may not provide the best highlights, but if he gets the nod, he'll be unbeaten in his last 13 fights, and his lone career loss was with one second remaining in a fight, he was otherwise winning. Damon Martin said, Magomed Ankalaev wins and he definitely deserves a title shot, but I don't know if that's the performance that's going to prevent Alex Pereira from pursuing a heavyweight title shot or some other fight first. Jan Blachowicz said, boredom. Jan Blachowicz also said, you can get this or me versus Pereira too. What say you? Gilbert Burns said, Poetan versus Aspinall next. Dylan Danis said, Alex Pereira KOs Magomed Ankalaev quickly. Steffi Haynes said, I would say that's a wrap for Rockage, but we all know UFC now keeps these athletes until they're slobbering all over themselves and can't remember their own name. Ben Folk said, DC trying so hard to help Magomed Ankalaev help himself and still it comes off pretty tepid. This is why we need pro wrestling style managers in MMA. Imagine if Ankalaev had Bobby Heenan making the case for him. Aaron Bronstetter said, Anka Live has had just two takedowns in the last four years, eight fights. Before we go into the next two fights, Conor McGregor predicted and betted on the fights even though it's against UFC rules. Here's what he had to say. What's up guys, the notorious Conor McGregor here, live from the big yachty. Sitting down, lying down, chilling, watching the fights. Ladies and gentlemen, here is my picks for the evening. Jewel Bits, number one odds in the game. Max Holloway, Robert Whittaker, KO victories. Max Holloway inside the first half of the fight. Robert Whittaker inside the second half of the fight. Half a million US dollars. Jewel Bits, hit me. So, ladies and gentlemen, my bet, half a million, two knockout wins. 17 million US dollars is, is the return. So, an absolutely colossal bet. McGregor picks, let's go. 17 M's, baby. Bring it home. What if you could make risk-free profits in sports betting? This may sound too good to be true, but let me explain. The sports betting market is so fragmented, with each book setting their own odds. This means that there's so many opportunities to profit when two books get out of sync. 
You can get both sides over on one book under on another and lock in a risk-free profit. This strategy is called arbitrage and it's the core of Odds Jam. Odds Jam scans hundreds of sports books in real time to find these bets, helping thousands of bettors earn tens of thousands of dollars every single month. Look at the results yourself. And here's the best part. You can try it for free. Odds Jam offers a seven-day risk-free trial, giving you access to all of its data-driven tools, including the Arbitrage and Positive EV Finder. If you don't love it, cancel with one click, no strings attached. Ready to get started? Use promo code MMAZONE for 35% off your first month after the trial. Don't miss out on making smarter, risk-free bets with Odds Jam today. Hamza Chimaev versus Robert Whittaker. Hamza Chimaev defeated Robert Whittaker by submission in round one. Here's what the MMA world had to say. Bilal Muhammad said, Wow, give Hamza the title shot right now. Ben Askren said, Wow, that was impressive. But why the hell did Whittaker tap that fast? Mike Bond said, Holy cow, Hamza Chimaev becomes the first to submit Robert Whittaker since October 2011. Brilliant performance. Sean Strickland's going to want to get that contract signed for Drake's Duplessis ASAP. Gilbert Burns said, That pressure from Hamza. Shaheen Al Shadi said, Wow. That's the Hamza Chimaev we've been waiting to see. To do that to Robert Whittaker, that was ridiculous. Aaron Bronstetter said, Hamza Chimaev is back. That was absolutely wild to watch. So many questions and red flags heading into this fight, and he made easy work of one of the best middleweights ever. Megan Anderson said, I'm so upset right now. Team Reaper for life. Henry Cejudo said, Hamza Chimaev deserves the next title shot over Strickland. Aljamain Sterling said, Damn, Hamza. Sean Sheehan said, very quick tap, he must have been injured. Damon Martin said, Hamza Chimaev, he just ran through Robert Whittaker inside the first round, locked up a face crank and Whittaker tapped with the quickness. Gilbert Burns said, what a performance. Steffi Haynes said, holy Rob tapped so fast. Henry Cejudo also said, Hamza made something very difficult look very easy. Islam Makachev said, dominant victory, congrats. Hanato Moicano said, made it look easy. Alan Juban said, it feels like I'm watching a wild animal when Hamza fights. Bilal Muhammad said, Calm Hamzat is different. Gilbert Burns said, Wow, Hamzat is fighting for the title. Ben Askren said, All right, Chimaev versus DDP ASAP. Ali Abdelaziz said, Congratulations, Hamzat. What an amazing performance against a top guy in Whitaker. Oh, 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 oh it's on the He's tapping. He tapped, he tapped. already? Wow. Oh, my that was God. weird. That oh was weird. Oh my God. That was weird. The first oh round stuff. It wasn't God. even in around his neck. Hey, here's the thing. You probably give him the title shot, yeah? You finish yeah. Whitaker in the first shot. round. You give him the title shot. Right? You give of him the course title you give him the title shot. This probably DDP Holy Strickland. Holy sh**. Finish Whitaker. wasn't even on around his neck. He it wasn't even around his neck. Finish the real D.E. He tapped quick. Dude. Let's see what happened. It looked like it was around his chin. I think he got his chin. He was breaking his chin. That's what it looks like. He was just. Yeah, because he just opened his mouth. You don't want to have you. That. Hurts. He just opened his mouth funny. I think it was right, around, around his jaw. Yeah. yeah. I think he's breaking his jaw. Yeah. Because Robert was when doing you, something with his jaw. He was like, open his mouth funny. And usually when you, I mean, you could tap somebody if you have a good enough squeeze around the jaw, but it takes a few seconds. He's so he shot fast. so far out. Yep. Once he gets a hold of you, it's so dangerous. He just needs to see it's around the, the mouth. That, that's around he the mouth. Quick. That's around the jaw. That that's was around weird. The around the jaw. He's that about to see break again. his jaw. Usually that takes a, usually that takes time. That was a very you know fat. what? It was a neck crank. He, jaw. You know what? It was like a he, neck crank. I, don't, I think that too, but I think he might have broke his jaw. Yeah, it was, uh, as fast as he tapped too. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to never miss MMA news videos every day. Max Holloway versus Ilya Tapuria. Ilya Tapuria knocked out Max Holloway in round three. Here's what the community had to say. Kamaro Usman said, damn, that left hook was crazy. Congratulations, Ilya Tapuria. Juliana Pena said, congrats, champ. Tim Welsh said, holy smokes, that was nasty. Henry Cejudo said, Dana White, give Ilya the BMF belt. He just knocked out the BMF champion. Brendan Roybal said, we love you still, Max. Alan Juban said, all love for blessed MMA. Always classy and always a legend. Sean Sheehan said, I'm sorry, but Diego Lopez doesn't have a shot against Tapuria. Find someone else. Kenny Florian said, he's that good, guys. He's that good. Topuri is going to be a tough problem to solve. What a legend Max is. Still the BMF. From a fight pick standpoint, I needed this weekend badly. So much to discuss on the next Anik Florian pod, and I can't wait to discuss with John Anik. Islam Makachev said, Congrats, champ. It was amazing. Keep your head up, Max. You're a legend. The MMA guru said, I have two things to say after what I just witnessed when Ilya Tapuria KO'd Max Holloway. I don't want to see Ilya Tapuria versus Alexander Volkanovsky too. And give that man the damn BMF belt. 
He is literally the most savage in the UFC right now. Obviously this performance, but this humble side of Ilya as well will build his fan base. George? Oh, he dropped him with a left hook. That's it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's out. That's it. That's it. Oh, my goodness. He's oh, a my bad goodness. Mother Oh he's a bad wow. Georgian from wow. Russia? That's the Are you first talking about Russia? Oh, yes. That's the yes. first So he's time. Russian, uh, but he grew up in Spain. Bro, the first guy to put away Max Holloway. Yo, he's out. On, he's on his back. That's how wow. that is. That's, that's how that is. That's how good that is. Oh, that's 45. I'll tell you what, the, that's 45. The fraud meter. They're not, spo they're not supposed to be that much power at 45. I think it happens at 55. Bro. The fraud meter's gotten cold. Bro, that guy is so legit. I think it happens even at 50. To do that to Max, Ilya's been 45 his whole career, except the Jai Herbert fight, took that on short notice and knocked out Jai Herbert. God yes. Damn. Ilya's a beast, man. God. He's the, he's the 100 real deal. He says he's gonna win this one and so then good. go to 55. But he said that? Yeah. But he's perfect for 45. He's perfect. He's built for 45. I, yeah. These but guys want to like jump around. To see him against Islam? I, I mean, would. That would be amazing. Oh, That's be the amazing. super fight. 100 would be amazing. The guy's a beast. Top comments. Why does Dana keep changing the definition of pound for pound to avoid having Islam number one? He by far has the best wins in the past few years, and it's not even close. Pereira is farming title defenses against good stylistic matchups, and Jones straight up doesn't even fight. Someone responded with, LMAO, absolute casual take. Out of Islam's last six fights, three out of his opponents had no camp. Two out of those fights were versus a 145 fighter who got pound for pound by fighting other 145 guys. Plus, Islam will only fight one one time this year and on average 8 to 10 months off in between title fights. Not to mention the only top 15 guys Islam is Charles Dustin Hooker was number 6 but had no camp and had just fought Green and Armin weren't ranked when they fought. Alex has been beating world champions and fought 4 times in the last 12 months. Warms my heart to see Dana reaching out to Korean Zombie to put that kid on a fight card. Glad he shows him the respect he deserves. Alex looked like a dad enjoying a gym session with his kid. How does Sean deserve a rematch? Not a long time dominant champion in completely lost against Marab. 